Hi everyone, back again for round two. If you didn't watch the first video, you can find uh, the list of cards, the deck tech, that stuff. There should be a link in the description of this video that has uh, a link to the playlist so you can go check that out. I'm not going to go over it again. I guess I will click over really quick just, uh, just to, why does this always reset? Just to take a look, this is what we're playing here. Kind of a little bit more of a streamlined version of Jessica Geist. Uh, Okay, so let's uh, let's see what we're up against. We will play first. Uh, this hand is not superb. Um, <clears throat> I guess it's fine. Uh, we kind of need to hit a third land. We do have some some interaction. Actually, I think I think the hands the hands completely reasonable actually. Um, Except for the fact that we have two guys, but sometimes that happens when you're running four legendaries. So we're going to keep them. We're just going to go turn one Serum Vengeance. Um, we don't really know what we're looking to find yet, but we do run four in the deck. Um, we're definitely looking for a third land so we can help that set that up. We're looking to get more. Um, we're looking to get colors that will help us cast our Helix. So this Serum Vengeance is more about what we need for our deck and less what we need about. Um, against their deck so this gives us two pieces of interaction depending on what we're up against um, we might we could want this so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna put this on top we'll draw this next turn and then if we don't want it we can shuffle it away with the scalding tarn and if we do want it then we can just serum visions uh, with the island to draw it or just play the tarn and say go do lots of different things Okay, looks like we're playing against Infect, which I've played a ton of. I've played against a ton of. So our life total is not going to be hugely relevant. I will probably draw that Serum Visions, play it with the island. Actually, what I'll probably do is... <clears throat> I have a feeling that I will Serum Visions and then... Oh, gosh. Did I, then we want to fetch Prior. All right, so they're just playing Ink Moth Nexus. Um, so let's see. We know we have a Bolt on top. I think we're actually just going to, we're fine to just play the Tarn and pass. We know we're going to draw the Bolt. Alright, so opponent looks to be off to a slow start, which is good for us. That gives us a little bit more time to do what we want to do with this uh, Serum Visions. Um, so let's draw that bolt. Um, now normally I'm, I'm a big fan, not a big fan, you generally, when you're playing Serum Visions, you want to fetch first so you don't mess up your scry. Um, we And because we draw multiple removal spells, we might... Let's see here. I'm just trying to figure out what color we're going to get. <clears throat> the thing is, I'm not too concerned with our life total, so I could just Serum Visions knowing that I'm going to fetch and shock next turn. But the thing is, I may want to just bolt at the end of his turn because we have two bolts. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use this to get a sacred foundry. Because if we don't draw like another red source to turn on Helix, which we did not, um, what I was going to say is the sacred foundry lets us cast path to exile. Should we draw one? Um, I do think we want to keep the island our helix isn't on yet, but we have two bolts that are on, and the island turns on snap bolt as well. <clears throat> so normally against infect, you want to use the, your removal at the end of their turn. But if he goes like, depending on what he plays, I know that we have a bolt. We also have a snap bolt. I'm actually fine with bolting, and then if he counters our bolt, um, going snap bolt on our turn. 
Now, the one thing I have to be careful about here is, like, he could spell pierce, and then he could also apostle's blessing. He could protect it twice, which would be pretty gross. Uh, but then we'd have a blocker up. So I think I'm fine to give this a shot. Let's see what he does. That was unexpected. Uh, let's see. So here I think I'm actually just going to play Geist because our opponent has to... Let's see. Depends. Like Our opponent has to spend a mana to activate the Inkmoth Nexus. So then he has available one mana to him. And then if he plays another land, he could go like... I don't think he can kill us next turn. So let's just hope I'm right. But Geist is actually reasonable against Infect if you can get it into play. Um... Might be the wrong. It might be the wrong time to do it, but we have zero infect, so I I think this is okay. Now, I'm not going to say this is a blanket statement for all Infect players, but I kind of feel like when I've played Geist against Infect, they haven't really uh, respected the Geist. This is probably going to be, yeah, Might of Old Corosa. Um, okay, that was a good draw. <clears throat> So we're kind of actually even here, like half of our life total's gone, half of their life total's gone. If we don't end up having to use any of our mana, then we actually have our opponent dead next turn to Bolt Snap Bolt. Well, Hierarch changes it a little bit. Uh, let's see here. I think I kind of just want to go bolt, snap, bolt, and make our opponent, like, potentially block with this Ink Moth Nexus. Uh, yeah, I think I'm a fan of pressuring him. Well, let's see here. He could also spell pierce, which I'm fine with that as well, actually. Um... Just get a steam vents. Okay, well that's enough to do it. <clears throat> so definitely a Geist play was correct there to apply some pressure. Um, I don't hate Geist versus Infect. He does close the game really quickly. So let's see, what do we want? Um, Timely's a maybe because it just it can make some blockers. I definitely want the Pithy Needle to name Inkmoth Nexus. Engineered Explosives is good. I like Weird Tear. It hits uh, Defiance, Wild Defiance, and it also hits Inkmoth Nexus. I like the Dispels. I don't like the Negates as much. The Angers are okay. A Timely Anger can uh, hurt them pretty bad. Um, I don't think the Remands are great. I don't think the Leaks are fantastic. I think we need to trim on some Geists. Um... I actually think we can trim on an angel. <clears throat> is a little clunky. We might even be able to trim on two. Um, I want to keep all the removal, obviously. Let's see. Let's pull these guys in. Is timely better than guys? Like our life doesn't matter, but the blockers can be good. Um, Maybe we can trim a leak. The leaks are really just better on the play. I do love... I do like setting up to mana leak one of their creatures, though. Um, that works pretty well. Let's see here. Then that would give us the timely. 
See, Timely comes down on three, makes some dudes. Uh, yeah, we can give this a shot. <clears throat> they can, do, they do have the ability to destroy artifacts. These, a lot of these decks I've seen, they bring in the elf that destroys an artifact when it comes into play. Um, so it's not like our pithy needle is totally safe, but still pretty good, I think. If I'm going to start doing these again, I really should get just a brighter light. Well, our opponent has boarded. I can't imagine what he's deliberating on. I'm sure he wants to play first. Uh, yeah, this hand seems totally keepable. We'll get us. We'll probably just open up right away. And depends what he plays, but we'll probably play a grim. If he opens up with a with an infector, <clears throat> see if he opens up with a a um, noble. I think we can play Grim if he opens up with an Infector. Then maybe we just want to bolt it. Although Grim, even if he opens up with an Infector, I think it's kind of fine because he's not going to kill us that turn, obviously. And Grim Lava Mancer should be pretty good. Although right now we don't have a lot of fuel for it. Um, I'm not opposed to using just snapcaster mage as a blocker either okay so our opponent kept six let's see how he opens up his turn here triad arbor I, maybe he's just slow rolling me, but I feel like if that's his only land, then we just need to kill it, right? God, Moto, sorry about the, these cards. Moto's got, I don't know why the colors are all screwed up. So if you had another land, I can't imagine why you'd go Dryad Arbor. <clears throat> I actually think we're just going to go Grim here and then just shoot the Nexus before he can protect it in any way. Actually... No, he can't, because he can't, even if he apostles blessings, he can't give it protection from a land. <clears throat> then we can turn the Tarn and the Ghost Quarter into a removal spell. All right, well, that, I guess our opponent didn't have a great hand, and ours lined up pretty well. So that was an, an easy match against Infect. Um, still pretty happy with how our game one went. You know, it's it's... I think one of the things to learn when the deck is, well, is to know your opponent's deck and to know when it's safe to, like, deploy guys because it's definitely easy to feel very fearful of Infect. Um, but if you can line up a turn where you have a bunch of removal in your hand but you know they're not going to kill you and you can play Geist, um, Geist shuts the door really fast. Um, all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. That was round two. Uh, see you tomorrow for round three.